Dude, I remember hearing about that gym during COVID and like hearing you guys are staying open. I was like, these guys are Based. I love that. <laughs> it's going on YouTube. It's your boy Brian Mark coming at you with another episode on the channel. And in today's episode, I'm taking you guys through a leg workout. I got the truck question mark tattoo on my neck. I'm super excited about it. And uh, it's going to be a fantastic day. So sit back, relax, enjoy this YouTube. Let's go. Value like this now. I'm just doing it from the other side. It's literally, I'm gonna think of 20 forever. I, I'll never be in a bad mood. So then sometimes I'm just like, what's that in your neck? I'll be like, exactly. And I'm like, <laughs> I love it. It's hilarious. Hey, you got new ink? Yeah, bro. Question mark. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's that about? Exactly. Oh, f yeah. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> That's it. I love it. Man. That's it. Always keeps you pushing, right? Exactly. Right on, it's, it's the reason I got it is to make people ask what's the meaning. But okay. what? The question mark. Oh shit! <laughs> That's awesome. That's dude. literally why. Right on. Yeah. Huh? So That's people are like, second, right? You got, you got yeah, we got, yeah, yeah, a second yeah, matching one. Yeah. The crown. Yeah. yeah. I like this one better. This one is better. Oh, right on, guys. <laughs> That's so inspirational. Right on. <laughs> Go we'll get one. All right guys, so I'm in the process of promoting the Iron Energy training app. We just launched it and I wanna get as many people as possible in before the start date. And then at the team meeting today at 2 p.m. we're gonna be talking about how we're gonna be rolling it out and what we need from our members, etc. What's the new tattoo? Um, it's a question mark. So Can I ask the question? <laughs> <Why>? Exactly. <laughs> 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 That's exactly why we got it. That is why. I fucking love it. That is why. <laughs> that is fucking why. Me and Kirsten were in the airport and we saw uh, this girl that had a tattoo on her leg and it was like this big. And there was a question mark and she's like, why the f does that girl have a question mark on her tattoo? She's like, I have to ask. So she asked and the girl's like, exactly. I was like, yo, we're getting those. I'm like, That's Funny. That is funny. That's shit. funny. Because it's right here too. So everyone's going to be like, what's that? <laughs> that and we're like, exactly. Yeah. It's seven o'clock in the morning and you guys know what time it is. It's time to get up. It's time to get after your goals. It's time to start going all in on your online coaching business. Today we're going to be talking about this idea that I'm f***ing tired. But today we're gonna to be talking about the, the feeling that you have when you're working on your online coaching business and you're fucking exhausted. Today we're gonna to be talking about the feeling that you have when you're done working at your nine to five and you get off of your job and you know that you should be posting content but you're fucking exhausted. Today we're gonna to be talking about that voice inside of your motherfucking head that like screams at you every single morning when you wake up and it's like, go back to bed, you need more rest, you need to relax, you need to chill. Today we're gonna to be talking about feeling tired. Alright guys, so I got a new tattoo on my neck, as you can see, and um, today is actually a relatively chill day, which I'm super grateful for. Eating breakfast right now, after breakfast, I want to film some videos with Jax, so I'm going to change up my outfit, I'm going to go film some content. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put this down here. So that it's on the cover photo of the actual reel, but when I post this as a reel, out of the cover, and it's gonna be this cover. In the profile grid, I'm gonna put that, but then on the actual reel, it'll say, why do I keep getting ghosted? How many followers on it now? 5,100. But it's like, everyone that's on that page is following me, like for me, like they like my personality. Obviously, I've done like things where I like enter giveaways and I was a celebrity, and then I would get it put in my bio. And then like they would put me in their bio and then people would follow me and then that was like how I gained prospects and clients. When you go in like little baby's bio for you pay 3k, you get in his bio and then people follow you. They don't actually want to follow you, they're following you because little baby's saying so. So it didn't end up working out in my favor. Now I'm building this account from scratch and I actually love building it so it's going really well.
From July 1st to the end of August, Dustin doubled his income. And the way that he did it is he showed up every single week and asked a question. And it seems like a very simple solution to a complex problem. And that's why a lot of people aren't doing it. It's because it can't be that easy. It is. That's what the Academy is about. You can follow the journey in the last eight weeks in the podcast and you can see it for yourself. I did it! I said I was gonna do it and then I did it. I'm a bad bitch! I'm a bad bitch. Let's go! Let's go. That's the perspective that you need to view the world through. All right, guys. Peace and love. Have the best day of your entire life. I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Let's go. So, just had a little bit of an annoying day. Um, just like miscommunication between Kirsten and I. So, I end up carless and late for two of my meetings. Which, honestly, like, she told me about Haley's school tour a month ago and I forgot to put it in my calendar. So, I did move my morning around. Ended up phone dead, car is f***ing not with me, and I'm late for both my meetings. So, it was a little bit chaotic. But, I took Haley to her high school. It was awesome. She had a really good time. I was super excited for high school. Now I'm going to meet a guy named Dakota Robertson who lives in Kelowna and he's just like crushing it on uh, Twitter. Uh, so I want to meet him and just be like, bro, what's your story, what's your deal? Uh, I just get to know him a little bit better because I just love meeting people that are crushing it. So we're going to go vibe out and see, see if we're going to be friends or not. Let's do that. You he, he said he waved at you on a live stream. Oh, really? And you said you, you're cute. Oh, thank you. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you do? I wanted to, like, I was yeah. looking through your shit. I'm like, what? There's, obviously, you're killing it. You got a hundred good yeah. Twitter, and your Instagram is lit, too. Yeah. And I like, the reason I like your Instagram is because I feel like you're, like, bringing writing back. Yeah. Like, they're, like, everybody's on reels and stuff, and I'm yeah. like, I showed Cole your page. I'm like, dude, this kid guy's building this account. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's so neglected, like, because... The thing with reels, so that's just based off writing. So I just based that reel off of a tweet I wrote. Yeah. Like I added some more, but yeah. um, at the end of the day, it's like all oh, writing. If you can write shit persuasively, yeah. you can translate that to reels, video, any kind of content. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, writing is thinking, writing is content. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I basically. I pretend to be people on the internet. Yeah. So a lot of the big accounts on Twitter are now Instagram. That's me. Um, so I write ways in a persuasive manner to get them to follow them or to buy shit or uh, get connections, shit like that. Yeah. And then I have my network, so I just blast their shit through my network and blow them the up and yeah, get them noticed. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's all content. So. Yeah you don't write good content or create good content it's like putting whipped cream on dog shit if you yeah. like pay for it <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> if you like put whipped cream on dog shit yeah I'm really all my clients with that shit it's like putting whipped cream on dog shit I'm literally writing that down <laughs> funny I like that a lot Twitter took me so for when I first got on it I was originally on it for crypto because I would keep up to date with that yeah. yeah but then I came across like the business side and shit and I got involved in that first three months I only grew to 750 followers then I switched my strategy and like the content I was producing, so I switched to more of a writing account. Um, and then it took me a year to get to 12,000 followers. So good. Yeah, and then uh, it was in March when I started blowing the fuck up uh, because I just like learned writing like really well and I created threads. I grew to like 100, 100K like five months after like 12K. Um, so it's like there's an exponential gain at a certain point, but like at the end of the day, if you know how to write and write threads well, and you have a solid network where you can distribute that, you, you'll blow the fuck up. Some people grow faster than others because some content resonates with people more. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, like, yeah, if you have the network and content, it's easy. But yeah, if you're looking to grow on there, I can show you guys like how it's I like do really one of the things that That's the only sense. thing we don't have. I'm like Instagram, I basically figured out to a T. I'm like TikTok is my fucking bread and butter right now. Okay. He's got like, like seven hundred thousand. I think it's. I can literally. I just know what hits now. Yeah. Yeah, I've gained a hundred thousand in the last fucking week or something like that. Yeah. Like a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, but the Twitter makes no fucking sense to me. I'm like, I've tried yeah. before and I've like done it, and I'm like, do you fucking post hashtags on this thing? I'm like, I yeah. feel so weird. No, yeah. I feel like an, I, feel I, feel, I, feel I literally feel like I'm ninety. The way carousels work is you create one. 
and sure, so maybe someone doesn't engage with the first one, yeah. but then they refresh, and then the next carousel pops up. So you get another chance. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. yeah. And then it's writing in a way, like you said, yeah. where each slide is very shareable. Yeah. So with each slide, I have the what, the why it's important, yeah. actionable advice, and then like a tie together. Mm -hmm. And that's like my style, and that's yeah, what gets yeah. really, yeah. What, why, actionable yeah. advice, tie together. Yeah. Good. Why am I going to be a small fish in a big pond of copywriting? Yeah. When I could just translate that to ghost writing, and I could be a big fish in a small pond. Yeah. So I did that, um, I went all in, started studying it a lot more, and uh, yeah, like within 28 days, I was at 11K, like from starting my agency, 11K a month, and then fucking started like more people and more people, then I grew my account like, by a lot, and then I was getting referrals, and main name for myself. Now I got like the biggest Twitter ghostwriter agency on Twitter. Um, yeah, and now I'm like doing it on Instagram, like upselling my clients to that. Yeah. Um, but it's crazy, man, because I have so much fucking demand for this agency, but I don't have the systems or the capacity to take more people on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm hiring more people on, and like, I think in the next month, like I'll, I'll, I'll be able to take on a lot more people. Yeah. But yeah, it's been crazy. The reason I also charge higher prices is because I'm paying for so many retweets and story shares uh, so they can get really crazy results. Because there's ghostwriters that charge, sure they charge 1K, but they can't buy the, all the story shares or the, or the fucking the retweets, so they get yeah. shitty results for the clients. How do you buy the retweets? Uh, I have a network of people. Oh, like, I'm, like just from going my own account, yeah, like I'm, I'm exactly, yeah. But I want to- You're fucking on them. Yeah, dude, I've been obsessed about this shit yeah. for the past year or so. Resonates so deeply with that. I just think it's so cool. Yeah. I also want to learn the skill. Like I think it's like oh, a, yeah. it's a valuable skill to learn. Yeah. You know, and nobody's nobody's talking about it. Nobody's talking about it. I'll say not to mention I'm like uh, we talk and you help us in the future that opens up a massive network as well. Oh, Dude, because yeah. we have that like help. Dude I remember hearing about that gym um, during COVID and like hearing you guys are staying open. I was like these guys are Based. I love that. <laughs> I like that. Dude, as soon as he started talking, I was like, not only does this guy need to bring us in and help us grow our Twitter, but then we need to bring him in. Yes, I agree. It's like, dude, it's just where my mind goes. Like, as soon as I feel like somebody could teach me something, I'm like, you need to teach everyone else. Yeah, I'm like, literally, I'm doing it. All right, fam. Done with the Dakota Robertson meeting. That was super lit. I had a lot of fun. And now I'm on my way to the Iron Energy team meeting. We have a meeting at two o'clock every single uh, Wednesday and we're gonna be talking about where the business is at, what we need to focus on, the projects we're working on, and, uh, and I'm excited, so it's gonna be lit. Let's freaking go. Midday, meeting at the gym, talk some business. I told you guys my goal is to franchise Iron Energy. Before we do that, I wanna make sure that we're delivering a high quality product, so today we're going to focus on delivery and making sure that the delivery of our product is premium. Funny as fuck. But I keep getting texted, no joke, I'm talking about like 15 a month about people texting me, thinking of somebody else, so it's like, fuck it, I'm leaning into it. This person's like, hello Danny, where are you? I'm like, at the store. <laughs> this, this person DM, texts me the, hello Danny, where are you? I'm like, at the store. They're like, hey Danny, Jenny here, you didn't send me yesterday's report. I'm like, yes I did. She's like, okay, send me yesterday's invoice. So I already did, I'm not resetting it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all in now, bro. I'm, this happens I get, so I get much. It pretty frequently, right? Too, actually, yeah, I get it, I get it. dude. I get like no, 15 a month of oh. people being like texting me random names, yeah. being like wrong number, wrong number. So I'm like, that's fine. I'm in now. I'm here. all in now, bro. Nice. Hey, like, give me a tour. I just signed up. I'm gonna do this to you soon. I just signed up. Only in two minutes. Show All me right. Me. So at the front, we have our meal prep for you, yep. our supplement wall, and our shake bar. And that is pretty much it. Ten out of ten. Good job. Here's your Proud brochure. You. And here's your brochure. Oh, and I got a brochure. Boom. Good job. I'll take the high five. That was lit. <laughs> Good job. I'm excited about that. That's lit. Glory! Yeah. 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 Alright, who 
that brings us to the end of today's YouTube episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. The piece of actionable value that I'm gonna give you guys today is be willing to have uncomfortable conversation. Because this like Dakota guy, I just met him, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I'm just a little bit outside of my comfort zone to go meet somebody at random, but also when you like resonate with somebody on some level for whatever it is that they're doing, I think it's important to like follow that instinct and be willing to like be like, hey, like we should go for coffee. So be willing to do that with people, right? Like be willing to have uncomfortable conversations and potentially network and lead to bigger opportunities. So peace, love, protein. Have the best of your entire life. Subscribe. Tell a friend about this channel. Keep watching all my videos. I love the support and I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.